Hello and welcome to the short board on Parsha Sanzinu. This is the Parsha that comes between Yom Hadin, Yom Kippur, and Yemei Simcha of Sukkot. Shout out to my brother whose Bar Mitzvah Parsha it is. And in the third Pasuk it says, Kishem Hashem Ekra Hobu Godel Elokeinu. Uh, for the name of God I, I will call, attribute greatness to our God. And on this Pasuk, the Gemara learns out in Nadarm Daf Pe Aleph, that Alma of Daharet, why did the Jews lose the base of Mikdash and go into exile? And the Rabbanan, the Chachamim were asked, and they didn't know. The Nevi'im, despite the Nevuah, they didn't know the answer to this. I believe even the Malachim didn't know the answer to this. But when it came to it, took Hashem to answer this. And his answer was, Al Azlam is Torah Si, because they left my Torah. And Rabbi Huda Marav explains that this means they didn't make Birchas a Torah before they uh, they learned Torah. There are two mitzvahs to Raisas of, of, of Brachos. One is Birchas Muslim, benching after you've had a meal, you will eat, be satisfied, and you will bench. And we do that after we eat. And then there's the mitzvah to make a bracha on Limana Torah, Kishem Hashem Akrahav Godalel Kenu, that we make beforehand. So why do we make the difference one before and one after? So when it comes to something physical, so someone's not going to appreciate it until they make, they, they've consumed it, they've used it, they've enjoyed it. So therefore, it's only afterwards that they make the appreciation and they make they can make a bracha of that. So that's why by food, we make the bracha after we eat them. However, when it comes to Torah, which is just, uh, spiritual and intellectual, so they should be recognition beforehand that this is something special and the appreciation should be there even before uh, it's actually learned. So therefore we make the bracha on Birchaz Torah before we learn the Torah. Now the Sefer Minchas Asher by Rabbi Asher Weiss and Eretz Yisrael uh, brings down the Sefer Dach Degel Machne Ephraim, which quotes the Baal Shem Tov, that says when it's a further detail than Al Shalom Baruchu, but Torah Techila means they didn't say the bracha of Aharevna. So there's a bracha of Baruch Atah Hashem Al Kena Melch Alam Asher Kedushan Abim Mitzvah Mitzvah La Sok B'Tveisara. Then we have an intermediate thing that leads on Aharevna Hashem Al Kenu, and then we have Baruch Atah Hashem Al Kena Melch Alam Asher Baruch Arbanu Mikol Amim Nasa Lano Es Torah So Baruch Atah Hashem No Seinat Torah. That's the Iker of the Birch Torah that, that you make. Now, there's a couple of questions on this, because uh, wh- why is it that we're saying that the Amal of the Haaretz, that it's because Shalom Birch HaTorah Chila, we have in the Nesethus Yuma that says the bias we shown was destroyed for three major sins, Gila Rayos, Shvichas Damim, and Avodah and Zarah the three uh, cardinal sins. So why is it that uh, that they're saying that it's because they didn't make a bracha? They didn't. And why is it that, that the, the Chachamim, that they didn't know the answer here? So he also, because of a, a, do, a mitzvah say, a positive commandment for that is the reason why we were exiled? How could that be? And this mitzvah of of, of if it's about the pasuk vaharavna, that's not the main bracha, so that's only a drabanan. So why would it be that we have a, a a problem? So and you would think if it was something major, that our great sages and neviim would be able to give this answer. So the answer that's given by uh, Minchas Asher, and I'm not sure if it's quoting the Baal Shem Tov directly, presumably is that they, they definitely knew what the reason was. And the reason was, the three main rules. That's why the base of Mikdash was destroyed. What they didn't know is how could the Jews have fallen so low that they would, fall, they would commit these cardinal sins? And the answer to that is regarding that because they didn't make the bracha at the beginning, that... You know, if someone's going to learn, if, if someone teaches his children the sweetness of Torah, then they're going to fall in love with the Torah, and they're not going to go off the dera. They're going to stay there. If they don't make the, if, if, if when someone teaches their children Torah, they don't make it sweet, they're going to fall away. And over time, they're going to decline until, Chas Shalom, they could be over on these cardinal sins. So that's 
what the lesson here is, that's why it says not Vaharev Na, because they didn't make it, they didn't make the bracha Tchila, that's Vaharev Na. They didn't make it sweet for the children, for the future generations. And if we look closer at what that bracha is, it's Vaharev Na Hashem Elokeinu, Estirei Tosk Vafinu, and our descendants, and our descendants' descendants, that we had to make it sweet for them. And, if they, and because they didn't make it sweet for them, then ultimately they drifted down, and there were Nichshal and these Averos that led to the exile, and then we lost the land of Eretz Yisrael. May we be Zocha to find the sweetness in Torah, to share the sweetness of Torah, and thereby bring the Geula Shalem of Bimhera. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful Shabbos and wonderful Chag. I look forward to seeing you in a few weeks.